What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome to another PS4 tutorial. So big one here. In this video, we're, go we're gonna be attempting to do the full jailbreak on 4.05. So this is like a full tutorial on how to basically um, get your PS4 updated to 4.05 and get the WebKit exploit. Uh, I say WebKit exploit, right now it's more of just like a payload injector or payload loader. Um, website but um, I'm sure it'll turn into a webkit exploit soon um, so so far that's what we have and that's what we need to to do on the ps4 so yeah this is basically like a full jailbreak I've made a video on how to get a ps4 that is on 4.05 or below so check that video out if you haven't already you will not be able to do this if you've updated past 4.05 now you can check by going to uh, settings and then scrolling down to uh, I believe it's system settings should be down at the bottom so system and then system information and as you can see I'm on version 3.15 which is below 4.05 so all is good so um, this is a new PS4 I bought just for this uh, just to do this exploit so anyway in order to do this we need to first of all if you're not already on 4.05 you need to get on 4.05 and obviously you don't want to connect to the internet so while I'm booting this up for the first time um, I'm offline I don't have my Ethernet cable connected if you've already connected to the internet make sure that you've that if it's popping up with a system update make sure you do not do that system update delete it from your downloads um, before it installs and uh, head over to network and make sure connect to internet is unchecked to prevent you from accidentally downloading the latest firmware because we want to install 4.05. So then what you want to do is head down to system and automatic downloads and what you want to do is turn off system software update files so that it will not automatically download them. Um, application update files you can probably leave on because that's more like game updates and stuff um, but for the other ones you want to make sure they're turned off. Okay, and now you should be pretty much all set. So all we're gonna do now is switch over to the computer and I'm gonna firstly show you how to get 4.05 and uh, we need to update from a USB, so you need to have a USB stick as well. But I'll switch over to the uh, computer and show you guys what to do from there. So what you wanna do is head over to this uh, link here, which will be linked in the description. So make sure you click the one in the description. Don't go looking for it yourself because um, this uh, isn't actually available on PS4 dev wiki and in the re retail firmware list. It's not in there. So um, what you wanna do is just click the link in the description, it'll open this up to verify that you have the right one. Uh, the release date should be the 25th of October, 2016. And there's the software version 4.050 is what you want. Uh, you can also like match the hashes when you download it as well, just to be sure. And uh, yeah, so just go ahead, click this button here, this one, that takes you to the mega link, which is uh, the download link for the firmware. So go ahead and download that. So once you've downloaded the firmware, what you want to do is put that on a USB. So you want uh, to get a USB stick, make sure, if you right click and go to properties, make sure it's either EXFAT, like this one, XFAT, or FAT32, one of those two formats, FAT32, or XFAT, not NTFS, because it will not work if it's NTFS. And if it is NTFS, you can fix that just by right-clicking on the device and going to uh, Format, and then selecting uh, XFAT or FAT32, whichever option you have, to format it. So once you've confirmed it's in either XFAT or FAT32, you wanna go into the USB stick, right-click and create a new folder called PS4 in uppercase, and then go into that folder, create another folder inside here called update, also in uppercase, and then go in here and put your firmware that you downloaded into this folder. I'm not 100% sure, but I think we might, we probably best rename this to just ps4update.pup. I'm not sure if this is necessary, but I would do it anyway, so it's so that the file's just called ps4update.pup. That's what you want. Um, okay, so once you've done that, you can unplug your USB stick from the computer, plug it into the PS4, and then we'll transfer back over to the PS4 here. Now on the PS4, you want to then head to sys uh, settings and then go down to system software update. 
and boom see there you go it says 4.05 is available that's not downloading from the internet it's down it's detecting that on the USB stick so what we're going to do is we're going to just say next and update and that's going to update to 4.05 which is the firmware we need to be on for this exploit to work this is the firmware we need for our jailbreak okay so we are almost finished here we go we're done now I think update is complete now you should know uh, that you've got 4.05 or you've at least updated the firmware properly because the notifications will now be white instead of black. So if we sign in here, we'll see our, see that notification in the top left, how it's white. Uh, that was normally black before, so we can tell we've updated. There you go, system software version 4.05 update file installed. And if we head to settings and we look at uh, system, and then we go to system information, our system software is now 4.05 and that is the correct firmware that we need to be on in order to do these exploits. So, so the next thing we need to do is connect to the internet. Now we don't want to download any system software updates. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in my ethernet cable to reconnect to the internet. Okay, so I've plugged my ethernet cable back into the console now and I'm going to head to network. Make sure connect to the internet is now on. It should be safe so long as you um, you did what I said before and you went into the automatic downloads and turned these off, uncheck these, and that'll stop us from downloading the latest software. So with that, we can go to uh, network, see view connection status. There we go, I've got a valid IP address now. So once you get your valid IP address, so it's the fourth one down, so 192.168.1.113, that's my local IP address. Note that down um, because you're going to need it for injecting the payloads. Okay, so now that we're connected to the internet, obviously we want to get access to uh, the exploit, which is a web page. Now, in order to do that, you want to be able to use the internet browser to go on a web page, obviously, and get to that WebKit exploit whenever you want. But unfortunately, as you can see here, you need to be signed into PSN in order to access the WebKit exploit, which you can't do from uh, from the internet browser, obviously, because you need to be signed into PSN. Now, there is an a internet browser patch which will permanently unlock the internet browser even when you're not signed into PSN. But in order to install that patch in the first place, you need to at least get onto the exploit page once without the internet browser in order to install that patch. So in order to do that, we're going to head to settings, go to user guide. And as you can see, this loads up manuals.playstation.net. So this loads up a web page. Now, you could use this to navigate to Google and then search for one of the WebKit exploit pages. But Sony actually block them. Um, so Sony actually actively block these websites. So even if you find a WebKit exploit page, the exploit won't actually load um, because either Sony's blocking it or possibly your firewall or something like that can block it. So in order to get around this, there's two things you can do. You can either host it locally or use one of uh, the DNS servers from that are already set up where people have hosted the exploit on their servers and used a DNS redirect so that when you uh, cha change the DNS to their server, uh, their server's DNS, it will redirect you to the exploit page and that gets around Sony's blocking. So. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm going to show you both ways in this video on how to do it because if these DNS, if you're watching this video in a few months time and these DNS servers, uh, server addresses no longer work in the future, right now they work, but they might not work two or three months down the line. So I'll show you how to host it manually as well, just in case these addresses don't work for you. Um, but uh, if you're watching this soon after this video comes out, they'll probably be fine. So we're going to go and set up internet connection again, use LAN cable, choose custom, keep everything automatic apart from DNS. So when you get to DNS, you want to select manual and for primary DNS, you want to put in uh, the DNS server right here, which is going to be, I'll, link, I'll put it in the description as well. It's 108.61.1.1.1. Uh, Point, uh, one five eight. So we put in that as our primary DNS and then just click next. Automatic NTU, do not specify proxy. Don't bother retesting your internet, there's no point. Just go back into the settings and click on user guide. And this time, yeah, you might get an error like that. Just go back on it if you do. 
Just keep backing out and going back in. There we go. So, as you can see, it's changed to the exploit page and Spectre is the exploit we want to do. If that doesn't work, you can try IDC, but I'm pretty sure Spectre is the one we need. Um, so, yeah, that's how you get onto the exploit page uh, using that DNS. Now, if that DNS server doesn't work for you, if by the time you're watching this a few months in the future, it's not working, then I'll show you how to host it manually real quick. Okay, so over to the computer. Um, so to host it manually, you need to download this PS4 exploit host, which will be linked in the description. You also want to download and install Python version 3.6.4. It might work with 2.7.14. I would I would install 3.6.4 though, because it specifically says in the readme of the document here, it specifically says um, something about version 3. There you go, Python 3. It says make sure Python 3 is installed. So I'd recommend Python 3, install that. Um, and then once you have Python 3 installed, you just need to basically go into this folder, start the .x, uh, .exe, and you can see it says that it's running. Now, if you get an error that says, um, you know, port TCP 80 is already being used or something like that, then um, close all your programs because I know for a fact that Skype prevents this from working so if you have something like Skype open then it's not going to work you're going to get that error so make sure you close Skype close Discord close any chat applications and most of your other applications and then it should fix it and then try running it again and it should run when you see it says servers are running that means it's working so now back over to the oh and also note down this IP address right here this is the local IP address of your computer. And then we go back into uh, the PS4 and we basically do the same thing we did last time except we use the local IP address this time as our DNS server. So automatic and then we come to DNS and then if this site isn't working then you put in your local IP address while this server is running locally. So 168.1.64 was the IP of my computer. And then I click next, automatic, do not use proxy. And now again, when I go back to user guide, it might take a little while for it to refresh. <sighs> back over to the computer here. I think I know why it's not working. You may, if you have a antivirus, it might be blocking it. So um, I'm just going to disable the firewall on my antivirus and that will probably, that's probably what's blocking it. So back over to the PS4 now, user guide. Oh, we're still getting errors, come on. There we go, geez, that took a while. So yeah, I think it's because my antivirus was blocking it, um, but I let it through on the firewall, now I can get on here. So that's one other way you can do it. So I would recommend just using that the first one method I showed you with the DNS address, use that, that'll probably work fine. But in the event that that server's down or something, then you can host it locally using this method as well. And load Spectre. Okay, and as you can see, you should get this notification of everything went well and it says waiting for payload. So now what you want to do is transfer back over to the computer. So on the computer, what you want to do is open up Netcat GUI for injecting our browser patch payload. Type in the IP address of your PS4. Then copy the web browser patch in, so just drag and drop it into payload file path. Change the port from 9023 to 9020. Very important that you do that, otherwise it won't work. And then we can basically just inject this payload. So let me move this over here so you can see properly. So we're just going to go ahead and click inject payload and it says done and that's basically it. Once it says it's done, it's basically done. So now all we have to do if I just transfer back. So all I have to do is I just transfer back. Now obviously all the download links for this will be in the description, the web browser patch, the Netcat GUI, how to host your own um, WebKit exploit, etc all in the description. So from this point on, um, it should be done. So you should be able to just uh, press the middle button on your PS4 to back out. 
and start the internet browser. And there you go, you can see the internet browser now fully works. Um, and we're not, we're not connected to PSN, but we have access to the internet browser now. So, and there we go. So now I can just access Google whenever I want. And I can put the other uh, WebKit exploit pages in as well. Now you wanna keep that uh, DNS address as your DNS because I believe that it also blocks uh, like PSN. If we head to manuals.playstation.net and then forward slash GB for Great Britain. Obviously, if you're in a different country, the, yours will be different, which is why I'm saying note yours down. Don't just copy mine. Uh, and then PS4 forward slash index dot HTML. Okay, and that takes us to the WebKit exploit page. And then from there, we can just add this as a bookmark. And there we go. So now that that's our bookmark, when we've got the we've got this whole thing set up now, so that because we've unlocked the internet browser and we've set it to our, our default, and we've got that DNS address added, all we have to do now when we next go on our PS4 and we want to uh, load some kind of payload, all we have to do is go to the internet browser, and it should load up our exploit page automatically now. And if not, it's right there as a bookmark that you can click on. If I just get rid of this one, uh, yep, delete. So yeah, it's right there now. So whenever we want to load the exploit, we can just go on the internet browser now instead of going into the user guide. And it's better to do it from the internet browser because obviously you can, you know, you now have access to any website you want. And you can also um, clear your cookies, your website data and your cache, which is important to do that. Sometimes you'll get out of memory errors and clearing your cookies and website data can fix that and your uh, browsing history. So that's one other reason why you want to do that. But that is how you get the 4.05 WebKit exploit fully set up um, on your PS4. Now I know some people might be saying, why didn't you just add the DNS in the first place to get the, the update as well? Because when you add that DNS address, it blocks PSN and provides you with the 4.05 update automatically whereas we installed it from a USB. Uh, the reason I did that is because obviously it can be, obviously for some people, if you don't add the DNS address right or it's the wrong address, um, you miss a character in the IP address or it just doesn't, or the server's down, you might end up, you you know, you won't get the, the update or you might get the wrong update, the proper one for P from PSN, which is like 5.03 or something like that, which would be terrible. So just to avoid confusion and avoid errors, I thought the safest way would be to show you how to install it from a USB stick. So you download the right one, put it on the USB, and then install it that way while you're not connected to the internet. So you'll 100% get the right update installed. That is why I did it that way, even though it's slower than just adding the DNS address and downloading the update file. So anyway, that is how you fully uh, do the exploit for 4.05 PS4s. I'll have lots of videos coming soon on all the other stuff that you can do with this exploit. Um, so I, mod tools, um, I believe, lots of other things, uh, running Linux, um, uh, FTP, stuff like that. And there's more stuff to come as well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.